like you went through something after you guys made your decision to leave OKC to go to Golden State. Did you ever have a moment where you thought maybe that wasn't the right decision at first? No, nah, no. Nah, mainly for me, you know, I knew that I wanted to take on another challenge. But for us, it was just like, all right, we're stepping into a new, uh, a new chapter. You know, let's see how much we can conquer this. Uh, totally the all the way around not just on the basketball court but just as much as we can do in the community you know as much as we can do for our business as well and obviously me as a basketball player so when you make decisions like that you start to step back and realize look at the total picture of you know you as a ball player you as an NBA player and things become so much clearer when you have that much um, you know power over your decisions and when you want to make those decisions based off of just who you are it was uh, it's pretty cool to be in that position Time is the only thing we have, right? It's the That's most it. imperative thing. How do you balance? I told my wife, man, last night, I'm trying to invent the 25th hour. <laughs> I'm trying. Good luck. I'm trying. Good I'm, trying. Good I'm, I'm trying, man. Good I think luck. I'm at like 2400, <laughs> or is that whatever? But we all get that, right? <laughs> That's all you get, bro. Yeah, like you said, time is valuable, man, and it's the most precious thing in the world. And, and a lot of people, they don't really respect the time, mm -hmm. you know, because they see, they like, oh, if you have time for this, you should have time for this. Well, well, technically, I'm making time for things that's authentic. You know, that's authentic to us, that's authentic to my family, that's authentic to my friends. And I always tell Mav, you know, if Mav say, listen, man, we, you know, we got to do this meeting or, you know, we got to make this phone call. I tell Mav, listen, I can't, I can't get those minutes and those hours back. He like, if I'm telling you we got to do it, don't, you, won't, you won't want them back. We're going, we pushing mm -hmm. forward. When you have those relationships, <laughs> it's funny because he knows that. No, it's <laughs> funny because he's saying that, but it's also funny because Rich can relate to this, he doesn't understand the 1,900 phone calls and things that, to that, point. Exactly. that I had to do to get him to do it. That's a, how I to, to get him to do a 20-minute call. You only come to me on the last phone call. So he's saying to me, is this that important? Are you sure? Do I got to do it? I'm like, one day, by the way, we should do I'm actually, you know how you take your kid to work one day? Uh -huh. I'm going to take my partner to work one day. <laughs> Let him answer the phones and talk to the people. Then he'll actually understand when I call and go, yo, we got to go see this guy. Listen, it's one hour, you, and then we'll get this. You better, have, you better have a nap go, time. <laughs> we had this conversation less than 12 hours ago. And in all seriousness, it goes back to like, the trust factor in a partnership. Right. That can only exactly. happen because of the That's way it. you guys trust each other. Exactly. And sometimes you have to like recharge that battery. With the amount of times we talk to each other every day, like any business or any coach you've had in your life, I never want my voice to be tuned out, and I'm cognizant of that. If he doesn't want to do it, man, that's when I stop. But in a great business relationship, we needed to have this conversation. Like, bro, when I come to you with that two minutes, it's, it's not my two minutes. I gave you two minutes. Like you said, the emotion that just got me to get you the need to give me two minutes is insane. Two, two, so two.